Hello everybody and welcome back to our Final Fantasy Let's Play. We're like two weeks away from Stormblood and hey Satan. So I'll be streaming this week and next week so I'll have some footage and stuff. Welcome back, Magnanimous. I'm reliably informed that your foray into deep craft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. Bataran's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Ballard Lewing asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventure. Sadly, death has become an even more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souths such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. And as if to illustrate the point... Hey! <laughs> Avir is gone, and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. Well, sorry, I was casting stone, okay? Sniff, but I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard-pressed in the first place. We should have done more to lighten his burden. Bah! To hell with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving. It'll be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. And hi, kitty. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing. But you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the way, of some parting advice, get rid of Fierce head, bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hell you like with it, but for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's just, just got rid of it, okay? Wow, 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 party died. How sad. <laughs> uh, if, if anything, these characters is something to remember because it's pretty disturbing. Wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm so sorry, Avir. Please forgive me. You see, their mistake was they're not OP like us, so they can't just continuously respawn. Because we can continuously respawn. We can be super cocky like, hey, I, I'm a tank. And you need to search 30 minutes for one, so whatever I say, you do. Got it? Seems like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I can send women like you on a mission without worrying that might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I want to thrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the services of a reliable adventure, and you're nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I will be glad to share the details with you. Well, everybody needs a job in these days, ladies, so of course I'm interested. Obviously, I'll, I'll take my gloves, thank you. It's mine or mine. <laughs> So you're not averse to taking a little a trip? Wonderful! As I mentioned earlier, the request comes to us from Adventurers Guild in Ulda. Once you arrive, seek out Mamadi, the proprietress of the quicksand. Think of her as the Sultan's version of myself. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you will pull through unscathed. Now off you go, Magnanimous, and good luck! Well, I don't suck as an adventurer, so thanks. I'll do perfectly fine. See, I even have magical 
teleport tickets that make this cost zero money to me. Hello! Welcome to the quicksand, my friend. I'm a tad busy right now, if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to... Judging by your determined expression, I take it you ain't here for ale. Are you called Magnanimous Munchicus by any chance? Moan has sent word that you'll be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? Yes, yeah, she is. She's stitchy, especially from, like, my massive frame perspective. But Lala's are very, very cute. I should go Lala again for Stormblood. But, so yeah. Business talk. Just uh, waiting to brief you on your task. The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty! Another second under that sun and I would have been set afire! A tankard of ale, if you be so kind. Excellent timing, Papa Chan! It just so happens that the adventurer who's handling your petition is here. Am I like the ozone layer? What, what do you mean? You mean high as a kite? So this winsome lass is the much lounded adventurer, is she? Marvelous, marvelous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lady. I am Papashan, formerly of the Sultan's Warn. I thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. Mayhap you like to apprise Magnanimous of her mission? Yes, of course! The petition in question was submitted by acquaintance of mine at Amajana and since mineral concern, it relates to an unfortunate development at Copperbell Mines. <laughs> ah, you are. Good job with dirty jokes. I, I think YouTube doesn't mind as long as I don't get my tits out. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. Papa Shango? Yeah, tits! Hooray for tits! That you totally can't see. Well, what's Papa Shango? These giants of the clan known as... Hecaton... Giant clan! Fearsome creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone throne dynasty. I can't google Papa Shango while streaming. Alas, it seems to have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifyingly angry about the treatment at the hands of our ancestors and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. Uh, Odin. It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the throne dynasty come to d an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. The people of that age used the giant clan to work their minds. By the way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as is oft to weigh in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the giant clan, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mine's lowermost levels, so it was the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tones of rock. I don't know any of those references. Well, at least you guys recognize it. Well, now that got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Cop Bell and Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. It said the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. It must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them danger to us all. 
There will be no mining at Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is a task which you must undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great. And so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Gods bless you. I feared you might have reservations, but I assure you it's for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copper Bell Mines are in western Thanalan. Do take care, you hear? Oh, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of my major's sons is presently in quicksand. The fellow's name is Painton Messa, and he knows Copper Bell Mines well. May it behoove you to seek his counsel. Meow. My cat is silly. And that's the guy we need to talk to. Also, I like how other people entrapped a friggin' race and were like, Yeah, we'll help you. We'll help you them exterminate them all because, you know, they're not human, so they matter less. Looking for Painted Mesa? You found him. So you're the adventurer who volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copperville, are you? You got the guts, miss. I just hope you got the skills too with them, cause things are, ain't pretty down there. The giant clan left the place in the right state and nary a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copperville was old when the second UI dynasty was still young. And it was abandoned centuries ago. Hasn't been for the shortage of materials needed to be building effort, the concern would have never thought to reopen it. We knew full well the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under mountains worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong! Our miners dug up more than what they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glor glorious recovery grind to a halt for want of aught to build with. Build with sand, you have plenty of that. The stone torch is keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be there to show you your way in. The hope of nations resting on you, friend. Best of luck! Thanks! Hello, Stone. You're a stone torch, really? Hello, stone torch. There's been an incident inside Copperbell Mines. We are here to ensure that the effects are contained, but for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from there. What? You're the adventurer who volunteered to quell the giant clan? I didn't think that Papa Shan would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before you think to come outside. The sooner you see them, the better. Make ready as best as you can and enter at will. Copper Bell. I'll move it to this side because I know that that side of my screen is covered. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine somebody coding a freaking MMO where NPCs run in weird patterns and just emote at you all the time. Oh, 
Hooray for us! I'll throw a hello to be nice to people. And then we're gonna smash some bunnies. Hi, Nikki. I would question why did they walk everything and then feed the keys to the creatures or left them on the floor instead of just, you know, bringing them back with them or not locking the doors, but never mind. Oh, yeah. Happens way too often when you have cats, they just like climbing over everything. <laughs> allowed, not allowed, good idea, bad idea, they don't care. That would be silly. Oh, hello. Our first giant. Do workers come in in here like armed? That nothing else is a problem for them? He didn't drop anything, only XP. Come here. I was gonna say that we can easily take at least two of you, but apparently there were more than two. Oh wait, somebody actually pulled things from that room, meaning it's like a free chest. Mine. Well, really it went to somebody else, but I opened the chest because I get to be the cool guy. Oh, I pulled. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh well, more XP for all the leaves. Good news is I'm the tank, so if I mess up on pulling... Nobody can complain because that's sort of my job. Now if I wasn't the tank though, that would be problematic. See, that's the fun thing. Nobody plays tanks because there are a lot of responsibility. But in reality, you can take the least responsibility and just blame your party for everything. My fire sand. And more fire sand. You see, it's fire sand because it's explosive. So it's just sand, but it's on fire. Cheer! This is probably the most boring boss in the game because you just kind of sit there killing, 
brigands for forever and they die in two hits. Trying to think if there's a more boring boss, but I can't remember. It's not the most horrible dungeon, but it's it's just an ad room. Yep, there's now Kothos in the aggro list, and there he is! There's our ultra weak boss guy! Satan, it's, it's kind of meant to be easy. I mean, I'm level 19, but this is like a level 17 dungeon, so it's game essentially giving you a tutorial. By the way, there we go. I'm gonna put the window for rolling on items in a way that you can actually see. It's very hard to actually be awesome at a game when you still only have like six bucks. <laughs> Was your opponent actually any good? Uh, Satan won a fight in Tekken only using two buttons. Well, either way, you're not supposed to be winning fighting matches against real opponents using two buttons, you know. I guess who? <laughs> oh, I kind of like this bus. Well, yeah, but it's a giant ooze and that's kind of cool. Ah, people are making it difficult on me. Don't grab the aggro, please. Let me just position the explodey thing on the ooze. There we go, now we have two ooze. You get more ooze. Yay! Boom boom time. More ooze. Now we wait for the button again. Stop pushing my items around, cat. Oh well, you're actually tapping on the table. I'll put things back up here eventually. Okay, now we have many ooze. Hooray for dying ooze! And that's my fire sand. That's not my weapon. That is my belt though. I'll press that thing so that the game remembers it. And 
now we're moving towards the final boss. No! I can pull it all the way down. Oh! <laughs> eh, stop it. I just don't think it's a way to do it. He's not scared of it. I was never satisfied. I was like, I'm getting in my way. I'm getting in the way of the satisfaction. Hey, hooray! I, I suppose we can. Uh, somebody already went there. Oh, the carbuncle man! The carbuncle man went after the treasure. Oh, and then they type sorry in all caps. <laughs> Wait. Why did that man pull more? No, I'll probably die. Maybe. Oh, okay. It was my healer that pulled, that's okay. They probably know what they're doing. <laughs> it's not that small. I mean, there are a lot of them. I actually started as that race. The current main character of mine is not that race, but it started as one. I'm seriously considering smalling myself back to that level. Much an ex exception. Slaves be free! Free! I mean, I have some Final Fantasy games and I could actually film them and play them for giggles, but this is practically the only one that I have played so far. <laughs> and it's an actually competent MMO as well, so that's good. Is everybody. Yeah, everybody's out of the cutscene. That's good. Hello, big boss man. We're gonna smack the big boss man. I have some not too bad Final Fantasies in my uh, Steam library, but the ones that I would be playing would be the ones to probably regard it super awful, like 13. <laughs> Now here is a choice. You can either kill the ads that come out of that, or most parties just go fuck it and focus the boss. We seem to be going to focus the boss route, so I'll apply my dot onto it. And I also stun whenever I can. It, he doesn't actually get stunned, but it's like an off global cooldown ability, so that means that I gain DPS from pushing it. Ah, oh, my kitty got comfortable on my desk. <laughs> it's not always, actually. The last time I was recording this, I was doing Zestasha, and they actually were doing the boss properly, and I was very much surprised. Because normally you never do, you just go, fuck the ads, focus the boss, you're gonna burn him down before anything bad happens. Hooray! Sorry to have killed you creature that we imprisoned here. We need the mine back.
I'll put the recommendation window somewhere else so that I don't need to black out the screen as often. Because, you know, people's privacies are very important. Hooray, both commendations are mine. <laughs> 